Я, будучи беременная, летел снаряд кассетный, который поражает в воздухе, над головой прям разорвался. Я беременная, упала на живот, и мне срочно нужно было в больницу, чтобы посмотрели, все ли в порядке. Вот. Кстати, у малыша на том месте теперь родимое пятно, где я упала. Мы уехали с ребенком, мы в пижаме. И я, и ребенок, когда текали. То есть ни вещей с собой мы не взяли, ничего. Я схватила паспорта и, 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 и все. А жертвы есть. Сколько горя, сколько всего, сколько, сколько людей с кругом. Это, это ж... Но у нас жутко. У нас каждый день привозят жертвы. Каждый день. Взрывы, 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 жертвы, жертвы, жертвы. We've had uh, about uh, 600,000 uh, coming to Moldova because of the crisis. If we would not have been able to transport these and facilitate the transport, this would put the country uh, under very strong strain. The Ukraine crisis has driven um, the largest displacement that this region has seen since World War II. Our rapid, comprehensive response is essential to managing the humanitarian impact of this crisis. In particular in Moldova, at the very outer edge of Europe, and given the, 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 the challenges that Moldova faces from a security perspective, from a resource, resource perspective, it's really essential that we're supporting the government of the Republic of Moldova to manage this crisis now. And the first days, it was thousands of them. First days, we even had uh, in one day, 3,000 of them transported from Palanca to Bucharest. Uh, if there is some shelling, some bombings, the uh, number of them increasing immediately. Here we're speaking about the bus service that is there. There is also the flight service uh, that is therefore even more vulnerable. Here we're talking about bedridden people who are, who are in wheelchairs or have specific uh, health needs. So there is uh, you know, two kinds of very distinct uh, transportation services. As of now, just over 670,000 people have entered into Moldova. Of those, around uh, just over 90,000 are, are thought to remain here. By far the majority have passed through Moldova. Those that remain here, though, do so for a number of reasons. There are various reasons for them staying here. Maybe they have relatives, maybe they have uh, property across the border. Maybe they cannot go any further. And therefore, uh, IOM and other partners are trying to support the refugees and the people fleeing the war to stay here and at the same time also help the local communities because the vast majority of the people fleeing the war are staying in private homes here. We came from the beginning of the war. It was on the 4th of March. We got together very quickly. Everything was done. We left a lot of stuff. Дочка одна плакала, вторая плакала, третья просто мне сказала, собирайся, потому что я не могу, она меня умоляла просто уехать. То есть приняли очень хорошо, помощь была. То есть мы почему и переехали сюда, что мы хотели как-то наладить свою жизнь ребенка и свою личную жизнь. Бабушка у нас, естественно, она у нас читает газеты, я ее там беру в разных организациях, приношу книги, она там читает постоянно. И Слава учится, а мы с Женей ищем работу, ездим на собеседование. Здесь очень много есть компаний, которые предлагают собеседование по вопросу работы. Естественно, у многих очень вот эта тема знания румынского языка. Поэтому мы приняли сейчас за изучение конкретное. Молдова has taken in per capita uh, more refugees than almost any other European country. It's in the top countries in terms of the generosity of its society because those refugees are hosted by families, by households. These households are struggling themselves. So supporting refugees, supporting the households financially, supporting the government for the extra costs and helping relocate refugees from Moldova to other countries in Europe that can cope and have more capacity is crucial. 
Um, so for them, we're, we're, we're looking at livelihood support, we're providing grants for, for small business establishment, we're providing training, we're providing transitional shelter uh, support as well, so rental assistance, particularly over the winter months, which are going to be quite difficult this year. And certainly this far into the crisis and this far into displacement, the psychological strain of that um, does not decrease. We also uh, distribute food for them on the way, food packs for passengers, and uh, for the winterization season, uh, blankets may be provided for them because it's getting cold. We inform them about such uh, situations when smugglers will use the war situation and start to smuggle people. That's why they trust us, they trust this route, they trust our organization, International Organization for Migration and other our partners, agencies. What we have in place now is, is a preparedness to scale up the uh, transportation facilitation uh, for uh, the refugees, decongesting and, and easing the pressure on the, on the government and the country uh, as a whole. One thing that I'd like to emphasize is the great collaboration between Moldova and Romania. We in IOM, we see really these two countries as a continued protection space. When I Bucharest, I want to to find a job какое-то жилье, потому что ну, с ребенком надо где-то жить и обустраивать ее личную жизнь. Самое главное, что там не стреляют. Это самое основное, что есть. Что там тихо, спокойно, и ребенок будет ложиться спать, не говорить о том, что мама, а мы завтра проснемся. Вот, расти, развиваться, конечно же, как полноценно, а не как сейчас дети на данный момент, кто подросший, не ходят ни в школу, ни в сады и боятся всего, и сидят по подвалам и в бункерах. Очень-очень печально. Разбойл дин Украина фосту адеварат провокари пентру институции для статулы. Дече спорт партнеры лор есть фарти импортант, инклюзив шел организации интернациональной пентру миграции. Și anual noi am examinat numai mult de 100 de cereri, adică noi ne-am pomenit cu un val mare de activități pe care noi nu le-am le așteptat și nu, deci nu am putut să facem prognoze pentru aceste activități. There's a strong effort on giving the local communities where the people fleeing the war are staying. So we are supporting the municipalities, what are the specific needs in terms of this increased population coming in here. And for Moldova to continue to be a, a safe haven uh, and a support uh, as much as it can in this massive uh, humanitarian uh, crisis that, that we're seeing still unfolding uh, and certainly will for, for many years to come.